Hello, and welcome back to the last spell. Uh, this is a fresh recording session, so I have to re-familiarize myself with what's going on. I've already spent everything, so that's why I do that, honestly. Like, get rid of the production phase, so I don't have to remember what I need. I just remember, I just have to remember to fight. That's it. <clears throat> Alright. Equip your new gear. Oh, thank you. Uh, I have new gear to equip. I'm pretty sure this... Yeah, this staff isn't as good. We have the sword. Is this sword better than what it was currently? I don't think so. I think we're... I think we're fine, actually. Let's do it. Next, uh, production phase, I'm really gonna have to remember to, uh... Oh god, we have boomers. Oh god. Oh my god, this freaking dude spread out across the entire wall. I mean, this was gonna happen eventually, right? I really need to push back the mist. It's it's a real problem right now. <clears throat> it's almost right up on our doorstep. So I'm a little bit worried about these boomers. Um, what can we do about this? I can do impale. Does this, uh, deals 200% damage to armor. They don't have any armor, so that's not a big deal. We could do, uh, Flurry of Strikes, multi-hit three. It would do a nice chunk of damage to them. And I don't think it has the potential to kill them, which is the good part, because we want our second strike or our killing blow to be farther away. The part that sucks, though, is that, um, there's a... There's another one, right? All right, let's try a fear a flurry of strikes on them Don't kill him, please. Okay, cool Because if he explode in front of me, that's gonna be some pretty nasty damage and then um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move three away and then three back and Then we're gonna do a rush. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do a rush. Hopefully that kills them. Yep nice and we gain a little bit of extra movement from that which we can use right away uh it would be cool if we could reach anything over there but we can't so then we have uh druid staff here <clears throat> druid staff doesn't really have a lot of good targets over here i won't mind i'm wondering if it would be better if they were on the other side we'll just use one swarm and we'll kill that guy. He, they should die from natural causes. Do some damage to this guy. I yeah. Uh, I, I mean, if I could run over. I'm just going to let these guys die to ballistas. Hopefully they do b die to ballistas. But the important thing is I, I want to get over here and uh, so I can entangle that boomer. Now over here, I think things are not as bad as they look. Although they do look pretty bad. Most of our bad stuff is on the right side here, so we don't have to worry too much. Um, we can move our scepter guy over and we're just gonna do some damage. This has momentum, so that first strike hit a lot harder than our second strike. Yeah, the scepter is is maybe not so good. We'll just move as much as we can, and hopefully we can kill this hunter. Yep, that, the movement uh, helped a lot for that. Uh, now, what we want to do is uh, kill and a few people to raise our damage. That's good. Did not mean to do that, so let's just go ahead and undo that. So one of the only, like, graces in this game is, uh, hey, you uh, didn't want to move there? You can you can undo that as long as you didn't do anything else. I did I did that on purpose. I want to uh, see if I can take out a couple of extra dudes over here with a rain of arrows, mostly to separate them so that oh wow it didn't separate them. That's lovely when that happens. All right, so we'll take a hit. We'll take six damage hit. 
in order to gain eight damage. Never mind. Well, okay, we can't. We can do it. It's gonna suck, but we can do it. Miss. God damn it. We can't. We can't get that guy there. Can we get them here? Nope. Love this zone. Love not being able to see anything. Can we get them here? Yes. Cool. We managed to kill them. All right, cool. Unlimited power. I mean, it's very limited. Uh, what? All right, we're actually uh, spreading some poison over there. Oh, cool. We have a boomer on the entire other side of the map on that side. Um, I, I am not feeling very good about our odds right now. They all, they're almost like right up to our wall right away. I think I need to, I think I need to get uh, someone else over there. I think we need three over here. We can't, we can't do this with just, uh, just two. Um... What I'm going to do, that's nine movement. What I want to do is um, stun this guy, but he's not attached to anything. So ha Hammer of Faith is actually not going to be very helpful. Oh, God, this is this is really bad. All right, let's go ahead and do this. This will actually save us some movement, hopefully. And I want to do a flurry of strikes on this lad. Oh, I just realized we don't have to actually be right up to them to do Flurry of Strikes. It's actually got quite a bit of range on them. Now we have Impale and Rush. I think if we did a Rush, it'd be pretty good. And we get to we get that Relentless. So we get some extra damage. We killed that other guy. Um, I actually think it'd be worth using a potion right now Potion, uh, I guess we need to use two potions because all of this guy's uh, attacks are To take two action points Well, we may as well make as much momentum as we can and it did actually help <clears throat> Well So things are okay on this side uh, on the other side, uh, I, I, I don't know. Depends if I can reach. Okay, I can reach with the poison. That's very good. It's not going to do very much, though. We'll pro I'll use both swarms and an entangle. Um, actually, okay, let's throw contagion on this guy. And I'm... Th thinking how much is an entangle only one action point if we can kill this guy and spread that stun that would be amazing yes that worked perfectly stun spreads with contagion just like any other uh, uh, status effect so um we don't need to use an entangle on them i'd actually rather maybe use it on something else because there's tons of like maybe this guy here this guardian is going to be a problem And actually, that boomer looks like... I guess they're going to die, which is good. Unfortunately, they don't have anything around them. They have, like, one zombie. Yeah, I mean, the ballistas are helping. We've got a boomer there now. Hopefully, this won't get infected. <laughs> Oh, uh, they gave they gave the boomer more health. That's not good. Um, let's let's focus on uh on this guy. I was gonna say let's focus on the positives, but you know what what positives exactly? Let's stun this group. It's not really that helpful. We have seven momentum. We could do some pretty good damage to this guy. We could try and stun them as well. Let's see how much... Okay, that's... Eh. 
It's not great. I won't lie. Can we... Oh, we can't target both these guys with one hit. We can... We are close enough. We should be able to hit them with, uh, the, you know, this guy. And, and actually, we can hit them pretty hard. So let's do that. Whoops. Actually, I don't need to move them at all. They're right in line. Perfect. Nice. Okay, um, that, that's actually quite good. I mean, I was moving this guy over to help defend this side, but it might be that they still need to be on this side, which is not, not a good thing. Let's just use a rain of arrows over there. All right, now I need to hit this guy hard. We'll give him extra movement and we'll just move over as, as much as we can move as much as we can and then hit this guy as hard as we can all right that that was pretty good I, it would have been really good if it could have killed him but that's fine um we could actually have this guy kill that lad. and let's go ahead and do that and then we're gonna move over and try and help this side as well. What do you mean miss? Actually, it's kind of a good thing they miss because there's a zombie right here. So let's go ahead and um, have this guy kill them. Okay, killing that one guy is honestly good enough. This guy's going to be using a lot of mana. It might be a good idea to get, get him some extra mana. Does this have momentum? No. It is undodgeable, though. Uh, wasted one of those. That's fine. Let's go ahead and use a Hammer of Faith. We're using all kinds of mana. Um, all right. So this, this left side is actually looking pretty good. We can poison a lot of these lads. This guy here, unfortunately, is going to be a kind of a pig. I should have contagioned him first. I always make that mistake. Okay, um, so we can still do some stuff over here. And I think that's it. No, we have one more action we can take. This is this move is rarely helpful, especially when I put all kinds of isolation buffs. But that was the one time where it's actually going to be pretty helpful. All right, I, I'm, I'm feeling somewhat optimistic. That's a little bit of damage I wouldn't have, I would, I would prefer not to have taken. That's fine. Honestly, I don't mind. The fact that that hits the armor is good. Uh, this is like the perfect setup over here because they're all diagonal. In fact, we could get away with this. I'm pretty sure this still counts towards isolation. Yes, it does. Plus 12 damage for the price of two action points. That's actually wonderful. We shouldn't hit that guy because that'll actually count against our isolation bonus. Kill that guy. Um, things are looking pretty good, actually. We've got a nice line of, of uh, Zams over here that we can hit. And then we have a pretty good line of Zams over here that we can hit. Nice. And it went the right direction as well. Um, let's go ahead and entangle those folk over there. That's a pretty good use of entangle. And um, we can probably still hit some stuff. I don't know. I think we can hit that guy. No, we can't. Shoot. All right. Well, we sh we should. What we can do is we can split up a couple of these guys. That's actually perfect. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. And our damage is is pretty good, almost at max. All right. Let's. Um. Oh, Florian still has tons of uh attack points left. He should have probably moved back over. 
but it's fine. These guys, I don't expect that they will actually be much of a problem. Actually, if we move over, I might be able to do a Hammer of Faith. No, Hammer of Faith's uh, range is quite quite low. Nah, it's it's not going to work. May as well undo that. Now, Joanna, Joanna's got her uh, work cut out for her, for sure. Um, but I think that she's got the chops, maybe. Let's just, like, raise up our momentum and then hit this guy. Nice. That actually worked out really well. And then I think uh, this is a perfect hammer of faith right here. That was great. Killing that one guy is going to do enough um, to, to make a difference, I think. So the only one that I kind of uh, squandered this turn was Florian, but that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Oh god, is that an elite boomer? That's fine. Hit hit the armor. I'm good with that. We are taking a little bit of damage, but we haven't gotten to um tier one panic yet. That is an elite boomer. I'm so glad. I am so glad that I moved our uh crossbowman over here. Because, good God. Good God, that's a problem. All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to move over here with Florian. And we're going to try and take out everything around them with one of these. Oh, there's another boomer behind it. Oh, God. Actually, that's pretty good news because it'll help us. Let's see if I can't get it in range. Is this thing misty? No, it's not misty. So I should be able to see it. Yeah, there we go. I should be able to do this. We're going to move here. Is this momentum based? It is momentum based. So why don't we go ahead and move? No, because I can't. I don't want to be in the line of fire when this elite boomer explodes. Yeah, so killing that boomer is going to um, separate them. And it's also going to do a bit of quite a nice chunk of damage to the elite boomer. That's the part I cared about. I should have probably also tried to stun it, but it is what it is. I guess we still can if we want to. But the important part is we can hit it with our isolation without lowering our damage. Not bad damage. Honestly, I think we could we could do better. Um we're not we might not kill it. This might do it. No, still no. Okay, if we can get closer and then hammer faith it. That didn't kill it and it didn't stun it. Oh god. And now I'm close enough that the elite boomer might actually move over and literally kill Florian. So we now need to dedicate Albrick over here. I need to I need to dedicate Albrick. And and just kill them. Um, I'm not too worried about these guys. Actually, I guess I should have killed this guy before I did that because now he's going to raise our panic slightly. It's not going to get to tier one panic, but it's a, definitely a huge chunk of panic that we did not need to generate. So that is just my bad. And it's one of the reasons I wish there were a bit more, um, you know, features for the player's sake in this game. I wish you could just kind of undo things. Um... But uh, it is what it is. It's fine. So over here, I think that this is fine-ish. It could be better for sure. Let's try and kill this guardian right away. Just going to like generate as much momentum as possible. All right, that's good. I do kind of wish that momentum stacked. I, I, I think it sucks that momentum just disappears when, um, like, it disappears after you've done your attack. I, I think that that just makes momentum bad, if in my opinion. <laughs> like, what is the point of a stat like that if it's only good for one attack? Because after you've used your, mom your movement, it's gone, right, for the turn? 
so like how can you justify building into momentum when it's only good for one attack and like only good for uh like yeah i mean like i don't know it, it just seems weird um i don't know how i'd rebalance it i don't know how i, I like how i would do it but uh I feel like momentum just isn't good enough. Oh, cool. We missed we missed uh, the one dude that I really needed to hit. Let's uh, try and do some damage. There we go. That's that's not bad. I do appreciate that the scepter has some range on it. It's basically a melee weapon, but um, it has a lot of extra benefits to it. Okay, let's just go ahead and use Florian to kill these lads over here. Nice. Uh, and we're actually kind of in a... Okay, never mind. Albert has, like, insane movement, and that's really good for us. Um, can we kill that lad? We should have... Contagioned him first because we would have done just like straight up ec extra damage There we go Um, we can kill this lad probably. Yep Yeah, uh, Albrecht has like crazy good range of movement Uh, Keon, can you do something good for us? I mean, you could you could kill something probably Is it really worth it though? Yeah. Why not? All right. Done. No one died. We didn't get to tier one panic. We're probably going to get an A, not an S, but that's fine. We got an S for our heroes. That's good. Albrecht didn't level up, though. That's that's a little bit of a bummer. He's so close, too. Look how close to leveling up they are. Wait, unless that's their health. I don't know. That doesn't... It's not very super clear to me. But anyway, S, A. Okay, we, we got an... Oh, we generated to tier one panic? How? God damn it. Oh, well. All right, so we've got... Uh, we've got a, a four... Four skull knight ahead of us. That's no good. Um, first thing we're going to do is build, build the seer. And then use the seer. Uh, I think right here is a great spot for the seer. Um, and we're going to go ahead and repel mist. And guess where? Yeah, I figured it was going to be something like that. But yeah, we definitely wanted to repel mist. Um, second thing we're going to do is... Um, I think we should just buy accommodation. So we have an extra hero. Um... How's everyone's health doing? Everyone's health is actually pretty good. So we don't have to con we don't have to use a worker on health. Mana is a different problem. We definitely have to use a worker on mana. And um okay, as long as uh as long as Albrecht is more than like two thirds, we're good. I think we're good for mana. Um all right, now that uh, I've kind of checked those boxes, let me just uh, consider what else it would be worth using a worker on. Is there any super stuff over here? No. Okay, yes, there is. There's one. So why don't we... More materials is always my go-to, so let's just do it. We also get gold, so that's it's pretty worth it. Um, I'm thinking I would love to throw some workers at, at materials and gold, obviously, but I think we need to, we can't really afford to not destroy some of these, uh, ruins. So let's, let's destroy a ruin. This is four workers for 200 material, which I'm pretty sure is just, a, it just sucks because we get 60 materials per worker on these salvage camps, although we only have the one salvage camp. So I guess it's a moot point. I could buy another salvage camp and upgrade it, but but yeah, let's just get a bunch of materials. We have the absolute perfect amount of materials right now. Um, and I'd like to get some more gold. I think I think I'm gonna hmm. 
Let's throw two workers at materials and one at gold. I sure hope I didn't forget anything like majorly important. I think I checked all of the correct boxes. Uh, and now we want to buy a hero. I'd like to buy a second salvage camp, but it's really not as much of a priority right now. Um, so this is another crossbowman. I do like the crossbowman a lot. But they're only level 3. Level 6 is just like so much better. Um, this person is a pistol user. Which is interesting, but I don't know if it's something I really want to get into. This person's a sword user. I, I already don't like swords. I could try and... Uh, this person actually has an offhand weapon, which is kind of nice. Oh, I see. They have a sword and a pistol. How are they using... Oh, they have a death ray scroll. Okay. Yeah, I did uh, um, upgrade our... Like, the inn in the sense that, like, everyone gets more stuff now when you when you buy them. I still need to know what these symbols mean. I, like, I kind of just wish it would... I would just, like, be able to click on them or something, and then it would show me the line. Pretty sure the assassin one is the... Or the, the knife one is the is the poison. So we could make this person a melee user. And then spread some more poison. I think this is... This looks good. Let's grab this guy. And um, we'll plunk him down over here, where they're probably going to be needed the most. Uh, I think we'll keep Albrecht, Thomas, our new person, and Florian we're going to put over here with uh, Joanna. These guys are kind of our weakest links, and I think that this side will be f easy enough to take care of. Um, but we need Keon at least over here, and then maybe they can help if, if need be. Uh, re you know, leaves the door open somewhat. Really, I'm really struggling these days with, with clicking. Okay, so let's um, level up our lads. We don't need mana for uh, Keon. That's like not helpful. Damage is fine. Kind of want to reroll these, but I think that just straight damage is fine. Isolation is perfect. That's 100% what you want to see. Uh, critical power, every five critical hits landed plus five critical power. Tempting. We don't want flexibility. We don't want any of these. I almost wish we could just like mark them off instead of like marking them on, mark them off. Every 12 units killed at a distance of four or more plus one ra skill range. I think this is great for us. Cause you know, they're obviously ranged, but they're, they're going to be doing that all the time. So over the course of the night, we will be doing, uh, be able to snipe guys from across the map. Although this is an awful map for that, but you know, circumstantially, like if they're, Aiming for this side, it's actually pretty good because they got a pretty, like, straight line of shot across. Florian, um, you did use some mana, so extra mana wouldn't be a terrible idea for you. I actually think that dodge would be cool for you. I wouldn't mind having one person, like, get into dodge. Oh, I would love this poison damage for literally anyone else. I'm going to reroll those. Um, yeah, we'll increase momentum. I guess that's uh, good for you. Every four tiles traveled, excluding skills with no momentum, the next attack gets plus 15% physical damage. Excluding skills with no momentum. Using the skill will not increase the momentum bonus. I, I don't really know what that means, but I'm going to take it. Every three tiles traveled, the next time a skill with momentum is cast, restore to This is probably very good for them, and I should probably take it. Initiator might not be terrible also, although, I don't know. I know there's a, there's like some perk that works very well with dodge, and I'm trying to remember which one it is. Um, okay, next is Joanna. Joanna, you are our scepter user. Having extra movement points would not be a terrible idea for you since you are momentum based. So let's go ahead and take that. Um, we could give you momentum. I don't think that that's very good. Let's reroll those. Stun chance? Do we have any stun? Yeah, we do. Hammer of Faith. 
Stun chance would actually be pretty good. Toxic leech, whenever a unit takes poison damage and within a range of five, restore some health. Wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Whenever the hero has three or less current move points and attacks. This is actually very good for her. Um, she does have pretty good health, so giving her body builder would actually just be a straight up upgrade to her damage. And then the last one is Tomaz. Now the thing is, is I want to look at our store before I upgrade them because I want to see what kind of weapons uh, are on option. Do we have a rifle? Uh, an interesting idea. I do like the hand crossbow and it does do poison. Yo, I don't know what's up with my neighbors, but I'll be right back. I don't know what's uh, what's been going on with my neighbors, but they have been, it seems, doing construction work for a long time now. So anyway, we're going to buy this hand crossbow. I just, I like the hand crossbow. Honestly, the idea of a second druid wouldn't be a terrible idea either. Because, oh, they don't have the poison line. Okay, the, the dagger isn't the poison line. It's the stupid, it's the isolation line. Okay, that's fine. But they do have um, the ability to upgrade our catapults. So that's pretty good. Um, so we can increase their, well, let's, let's do damage. Do they have initiator? They do have initiator. Okay, so that makes them very good. I'm going to make them a uh, hand cross crossbow person while they do just be throwing damage at me. And uh, yeah, let's let's do accuracy as well. I'll be right back. I feel like that's just going to keep happening. Well, so I'll just have to deal with that. Um, well, I mean, I can't really say no to rare armor. Isolation is not going to work. Um, if you don't know, I, I like to use the uh, hand crossbow person to split up people for the major crossbow person literally been waiting for like five to ten minutes I, I guarantee you as soon as i start talking there's gonna be drilling in the wall and my god um do we have the recover health our daily health regen perk i don't even know what that looks like i'm, I'm like so tired of like looking for these stupid circumstantial contextual perks like I, I would I, I hate day, daily health regen because if you need daily health regen you're 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 doing your job badly I feel right and it's certainly it's the least helpful on the last day which is the most important day because there ain't gonna be any more daily health regen right so you're just throwing uh, throwing points at at uh, at a stat that doesn't really help right but uh, you know I. I the the one reason you would want to take it is because there's perks that you know supposedly build into them where are they what do they look like i don't know what they look like i've been i've been staring at this game for 40 hours and i still don't know what they look like they look like nothing get rid of it propagation damage worthless range damage pretty good i'll take range damage stun chance meh opportunism is uh, Sure. Skill range, yeah. Skill range will do it. Uh, I'll take critical power, sure. Um, I'll reroll these. Poison damage. We are going to be doing poison damage. They're going to be a hand cross crossbow person. Really wish they had the poison perk, but what what are you going to do? We're going to give them the back protection and defensive training because that's just going to give them a ridiculous amount of XP. They'll probably reach level 12 before anyone else. Um, this is the one, spiky counter. That's the one I wanted for someone else. I can't remember who. This is just like a problem, isn't it? It's just like a, a constant problem. Um, let's go ahead and give them that crossbow. Oh, they don't have an offhand pistol. They have an offhand sword. Oh, that's... Kind of worthless, actually. I kind of hate that. All right. Uh, every two attacks, nah. Nah. Uh, jump overs, skill, no. Upgrade the punch. No. 
I don't know, maybe spiky counter? Do they have block? With the base damage equal to 50 plus 200% of the hero's block. Giving them more block would be a good idea. And I don't have the ability. You know what? Uh, I really do want initiator. I wonder if there's anything I can do here. Giving them more dodge seems like a dumb idea actually now because if I want spiky counter, I don't know why I want spiky counter, I'll be honest. Um, Let's take quick reload. I know it's on a great skill, but it will help. We'll take initiator because, um, you know, I tend to blow through a lot of the hand crossbow person's like skills. Not their action points, their skills, right? So having quick reload for them would actually be pretty good. Accuracy and reliability wouldn't be terrible. Um, isolation isn't going to be doing it. First blood actually wouldn't be a <clears throat> terrible idea. Because they are going to be initiating quite a lot. I guess that works against initiator, but, uh, you know, I can't, I can't account for everything, right? Um, now let's grab our knight rewards. Hoping we can grab some, I mean, better armor would be a good idea. Less move points. That's, that's a bummer. What we really want, um, these old wolf greaves are actually very tempting. Nah, this medium armor is really good. What we really want is an offhand item. Reinforced shield isn't bad. More momentum, more armor, more dodge, more mana, more resistance reduction. Pretty good. Um, poison damage is also tempting, but I really can't lean too much into one, one thing, you know? Um, we've got some interesting items here, but none of them are very helpful. We'll take this axe in the hope that maybe I could... You know what? We could re-roll these. Let's re-roll them. Ah, huh, very much the same. Oh, an offhand hammer. Is that really any different or better than having an offhand sword? Yes, because I like it more. Because <laughs> I don't like the sword. <laughs> having less movement points. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and then uh, someone wants this. Oh, cool. More drilling. I'm hoping it doesn't turn up too much on the microphone. I might have to play it back, though, and just figure things out. Um, block, extra armor, a lot of extra armor. Who's gonna, like, who's likely to take the more damage, though? Probably Florian. We could give it to Joanna. Joanna has got a ton of movement points and can afford to lose some. And then maybe Florian, we, oh, well, we can't really justify giving them heavy armor for, like, basically no benefit. It's like, oh, I guess they already have negative one movement. Okay, sure. It's, it's no different then. Um, and now we are pretty much spent, so we're going to start upgrading our catapults or buying some catapults. I'm going to go ahead and destroy this thing and build some more catapults there at some point. Well, yeah, let's not do it now. Um, so I think we could, we could put one more here. We want to make sure that we can have a wall anywhere. I definitely want to do catapults at some point. Let's just let's just upgrade these. Let's start by upgrading these. I really wish there was a faster way of doing this. I'm just going to upgrade like everything on this side because they're they're gonna hit us pretty hard on this side for sure um and then let's go ahead and upgrade everything on this side as well actually i wonder yeah okay so we we do have uh the new guy over here right which is good because he's actually going to be upgrading 
the cat the the ballistas on this side I don't know if I want to build catapults. I know they help, but they don't really help enough. You know what I mean? I think I want to instead build some teleporters. Like we could put one here and we can put one here. And it would just like, you know, if there's if if it helps, it helps a lot. You know what I mean? Like if it comes in handy, it's going to help so much. Um, I should have spent some points to repair our defenses and that's going to actually spend all of our materials. No, they, they repaired everything though. So that's good. And we have enough points to build one trap. There you go. All of these traps over here are still up, which is good. And I think we're good. Now, I do... I could probably do the next night. But as I said before, I kind of like being able to do, like, one night of combat and then one production phase. And it helps... Uh, it keeps it... Makes it easy to split things up. And um, I, I hope that you appreciate, like, me putting in chapters and stuff. So if it's easier for me to do that, then I think I will. Um, so uh, even though it's a short episode, I'm going to call it there. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. If you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And uh, yeah, take it easy.